coochie gonna stink sometimes. It is what it is. Not only do I want it to stink, I'm disappointed when it doesn't. Every now and again, you encounter a lady who has no scent coming off of her piss mint. And that might be because you have a team of chemists working on your gyna biome, and good for you. The pH balance is on point. But personally, I like when it's got a little twang to it. 11 herbs and spices that I can't quite pinpoint. I wanna scratch my nose when I leave in the morning and get flashbacks from last night's escapades. If your coochie's got a brand, rock that shit. And follow me, you fucking idiots. Hmm, this here's some abnormal shit, man. I don't know about this, man, but you know, when you used to some a certain thing and a certain smell, certain setting, I'm gonna say smell, you know, certain setting, or if it's something that you're used to, I guess you would take it in as being normal, but it's totally abnormal, especially when you ain't had the experience dealing with multiple women. But you already know what time it is. Wrist, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck. Holding it down, locking it down, submerging it out there, gang. Like, let me double back since I'm here to do another video and speak on this shit, man. You know? Uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So I've done these videos, pipe and hot stash. You're going to get it down your phone and to your ear or your candy game. Big facts. Video for education purposes only, fair use only. If you're new to the channel, hey, come, let's come deal with me. Go to my bow section, you know, I already know how to get at me. My Gmail's there, the phone numbers, the cash apps, you can support the channel, the social media sites, the Patreon, everything's there. Holla at me. Let's get into this. Now I'm going to make it a little short. Fellas, uh, a vagina smell is normal. True, it's normal. You know, it got a certain smell, you know, it's, it's, which is normal, you know. However, due to the pH balance, the way these women eat, what they consuming, what they're drinking, um, how they're bathing, and, you know, all those things can um, disrupt the actual, you know what I'm saying, vagina scent or whatnot, you know, and it may have disrupted it. Yeah. I done ran across a funky ass, man. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I done ran across some ass. Man. You, see, you remove the motherfucking thongs, man. Shit. You got to pass out with a migraine headache and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm out of this motherfucker. Well, my motherfucking coat. She got me fucked up. <laughs> yeah, man. Then I had somewhere where it wasn't no smell on it. I'm like, hold on. Man. Ain't no smell. Ain't no smell. You know, motherfucking smell somewhere. Ain't no smell. And the body's right and everything cool. You're like, oh, yeah, this is... You know, and the sex, right, you know, it's compatibility. The only thing we got to do is get it to uh, comply and everything must fly, right? Yeah, that's there. We know these things, you know what I'm saying? So, however your experience is what gives you the, um, the wherewithal to know what's supposed to be in place and what's supposed to not be there or whatnot. And if you experience a lot of women with their pH balance on point, they're they're um, great within their hygiene, um, and everything is cool on that level, you know, then you're not gonna be quick to deal with a chick that got what he say some kind of stank odor on her pessimist. <laughs> You ain't gonna be quick to deal with that, man. Nah, no, you you're not gonna want to deal with that. You, that's just not what it is. To me, I can't knock every man because some men out here like it, like like he said. You got some men out here they like that tart. You got some men out here that like a bush on that puss. You dig? They, they, they like a, they like a bush on that puss. They like a lot of hair on that muffin. Some men like it shaved. You know, some men. Everybody's different. You know, every every man's preference is different on what they digging. You know, me personally, if it ain't stinking, we we pretty much good. If you got an odor, you know, it, we, we we it ain't nothing happening. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And in order, and not to say that I will never have sex with you again, but that's only on one contingency anyway. You did. You must go and get yourself checked out. You must change the way you eat, the way you diet. Um, however that go about, and 
then we maybe can get get something going again. I may can forgive the little the little stench smell, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh, you had me running about that motherfucker, like running up out of a funeral home or something, a bomber fluid home, or you know, the morgue or some shit. I had to get up out of that motherfucker. Now, that's only on one contingency. You go and get yourself together. If you don't go and do that shit, miss my number. You will never. It, it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not with that. But you got guys out here that's with it. I'm not here to knock them, you know. Or are they with it because it's the normal to them? That's all they've been kind of smashing was these funky pussy chicks. <sighs> but then again, I'm gonna think like, okay, if you smashing all these women, you could you ran across something clean. But you steady indulging in funky pussy chicks, then this could be something that you like, right? Okay. And like I said, you got some guys out here like that. You know, they like the stench. They like the smell because to them, that, that demonstrates vagina. That demonstrates, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, man, she got that good pussy. Or she got, well, that's that real shit. I, I don't get why it demonstrates that. I don't see how they see it. But some men are like that. Every man is different. Like I said, I'm not here to knock. Oh, boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to shed the light on what's not normal and what's normal. And what's not normal is a woman running around tart. It's not normal. You got too much supplies out. You got dishes. You got mass and gill. You got um, you got too many things out here, man. That get them from not, you know, to keep them from not ordering. However, those things are there to help maintain the non-odor and uh, to keep it contained just as well. But it starts with the woman taking care of herself. Once she take care of herself and get herself in order, then she can go switch to these products and, and, you know, keep herself fresh or whatnot and carry it all out. But if she's not maintaining herself, her pH balance, what she's eating, what she's drinking, um, what kind of pain, yeast, yeast infections and yeast can cause this, can cause smells just as well. So what kind of panty she's wearing, um, who she's letting skeet off into her, that causes a stinky ass smell just as well. Hit that like button. That's real talk. Women running around barebacking guys, having sex with bare, you know, with guys bareback. You eager to get the dick? You feeling him like that? Ain't nothing. I'm not knocking you. It's like that. But sex, it, it takes responsible people to uh, maintain a healthy sex life. I'm going to keep it like that. You know, that's why you see a lot of pregnancies and shit. That's just motherfuckers irresponsible, loosely moving with the dick, back and forth, sleeping in the pussy, um, dick going soft, sleeping in. I did it all, man. You got, got, got dried up cum on the dick. <laughs> I've been hurt. I, I, I did that kind of shit, man. And that type of shit brings about pregnancy. And that's what it is. It's being irresponsible. Now, when you, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, when you, when you two couples and you're having sex and it's a healthy sex life, then that's good. You will want to keep that in frame, you know? But if it's not a healthy sex life, you know, because, you know, she, she she got that scent and that smell. You must think that over twice, man, because personally, man, I believe, me personally, if she's not, if she's, now, if she's been structured to go on with her life and her hygiene and carry that on and keep herself up, her pussy don't supposed to be stinking. I'm sorry. Now, she's coming out of the Wow, so motherfucker where about in the wound and she never been taught nothing. Yeah, that's gonna be there. She she it. She don't know the she don't have a concept of actually keeping herself clean or whatnot, you know. But if you've been taught this I mean, there's no excuse. There shouldn't be no fucking smell. And if there's a smell, you lost me. You know, you lost me. I'm done. I can't do it, you know. And when you got chicks out here, coochie gonna stink. It is what it is. Pussy foul is a motherfucker, man. That's I think that. I strongly think that. Or you wouldn't say no shit like that. Ain't no coochie going to sting. It is what it is. Fuck no. You take care of your pH balance. You take care of your goddamn health. And you won't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Stop letting these dudes nut in you. Stop letting these dudes bear back you. And your pussy be in order. You dig? That's the game. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. And do not go out like that dude. Fuck no. Nobody want that shit. You know, motherfuckers fucking on... Uh, Having sex while the chick is on her period. And that shit stinks, man. That, shit, that ain't right. I think that's an abomination within itself. 
you know, but um, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get back at me, holla. Yeah.